We'll talk about kind of the clamp, the pinch technique. Going, going back to it, we just did work off of our knees there. One of our beliefs, we do a lot of fundamental work off our knees. We're not going to crush our guys with their back. We're not going to crush their guys um, you know, with the hips. But we do a lot. Of, we're face off from our feet. But we're going to do a lot of our fundamental work off our knees, as you can see right there. So what we'll talk about right now is the clamp, our grip, our hand placement, and into versus onto. We're an into, not an onto team. And then the pinch, our right hand pressure, and then the ball on the ground, the armpit. And then we'll talk about some drills we do with that as well. So our clamp, our grip, motorcycle grip, two over, whatever way you want to define that as. In college rules, we have the tape. You can't put your hands on the plastic. They have the tape there. Uh, we hold pretty true to that. The refs check it before every time. Uh, but grip, two over. Our arms, Kevin, if you want to throw your secondary arm on there. Our shoulder widths apart. One of the things we talk about, bench pressing the face off. So we're in tight. We don't get the power behind it. You know, Kevin's a big, strong kid. We want to use his power behind it. And we're going to keep his arm shoulder width apart. And then thumb placement, Kevin, if you want to show that. We have our thumb placement. We do not wrap our fingers around it. We put it on the shaft right there. It gives us more dexterity, more mobility, more power to drive into it when we do pull the ball. Our clamp techniques. Now that we talked about the grip, we'll talk about the technique that goes behind it. We're an into versus onto an even hand. So the term we use all the time, we talk with the guys, if we have the white line here, when we come into the ball, we want to remove it from the line. We don't want to come down onto it. If we have it sitting on the white line, we've done ourselves no good. We want to press the ball out away from the line here. We want to keep our butt end down. And as I said, we want to keep equal hands removed from the line. So this is a great picture, once again, knee work. Kevin has removed the ball from the line. He has his hands equal. He doesn't have his left hand forward, his right hand forward. And he doesn't have his left hand in the air. This is kind of one of our, our key beliefs, principles. We want to keep an even stick. We talk about we keep our shaft kind of under the chest. This is an exaggerated uh, version of it going forward. But this, we do a lot of things exaggerated in practice. So it makes it easier for the game. So we go forward here, talk more drills. One of the drills we do for clamp, we're moving from the line. So this is a great drill we work on to remove the ball from the line into the opponent, 45 degree angle. Let's get the ball down, we'll be here. Once again, even hands, off the butt end, or excuse me, off the end line, butt end stays low, and he'll drive it, you can use your foot, you can use a box, you can do whatever you want, but the point of the drill is to remove the ball from the line, keep it low right there. This talks about equal hands, so we'll have the table, you know, with half a yard, whatever it may be, and the point of the drill is now that we're removing the ball from the line, we're gonna have equal hand pressure going into the table right now. So once again, we talked about it. Kevin's down, he's not gonna have his left hand up, he's not gonna have it overly forward, he's not gonna have the right hand overly forward. So as you hit play, Kev. Here. Boom, equal hands, hits the table equally. He's got a strong right punch, but the left hand comes with it. You can do this off the wall, you can do it inside. We've had Kevin do it inside as well. You know, you could be right here, go into the wall right there. Uh, one of the things we talked about as we continue to talk about these guys, equal hand pressure. We don't want to get overextended one way or another. I know I've talked about it two or three times, but that is one of the key emphasis for us going forward. Now the pinch technique. As you see, it's a build up to everything. We talked about the hand grip. We talked about the clamp technique. Now we'll talk about the pinch technique. It's all about pressure, 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 pressure. Kind of fundamentally, we're going to drive the right hand in there. And one of our coaching points, we're going to armpit the left hand armpit the left hand and the ball should never leave the ground. Those are kind of our pinch techniques, our pinch points going forward. And we never want to pinch until we're all the way on the ball. So if we're flat on the ball, then we can come out and do our pinch technique. And we never want to get overly developed where we're concerned about the pull or the pinch or the put the ball where we want, where we don't focus on the clamp. So if you don't get the clamp, nothing else really matters afterwards. So we use this picture as an example. You see the ball, is maintained with the ground. Kevin is driving his right hand as hard as he can in the ground, and he's putting the butt end into his left armpit right there. Great pinch, we call that 12 o'clock as well, getting the stick to 12 o'clock, it's really jammed in there. One of our key routines we do to teach the young guys is a two whistle drill. So we'll do everything in sequence, build up once again off the knees. Kevin will clamp, actually you want to turn the ball, you want Kevin too if you got it. So Kevin, Kevin will clamp on the first whistle and he'll pinch on the second. Once again, it's all a buildup. The clamp, 
to the pinch, right? There's a clamp to the pinch. We can also go one whistle. We call these drills knee pops, knee pops. So there should be a development. Everything builds on each other. Once again, if you don't get the clamp, you can't do anything else. So right now, Kevin will go off this line, and he'll go extended. Extended drill is kind of what we just talked about live. So just, uh, just straightforward. Leave it extended. So we'll take down. Set. Go. Boom. Extended. Once again, even hands onto the ball. Nothing raises. Go back. We'll do three of them. Down. Set. Go. Boom. Now it's a build up. We'll go two whistle. First whistle, clamp. Second whistle, pinch. Down. Set. Go. Go. Boom. Boom. Down. Set. Go. Go. Boom. Typically, we'll do our warm ups to our knee pops. Kevin will go full speed knee pops right now. <laughs> Three of them on his own. Boom. And you see the ball comes out of the stick without great force. Kevin st sticks a little tweaked right now. We don't, you can go keep going on your own, Kevin. We typically don't have an issue with it here. See pop, clean. And this is what we feel kind of going forward is going to be the PMO. Boom, right there. So it's a build up, it's a progression drill. And that's all clamp, that's all pinch. We should not be able to remove the ball from the stick with the hand. A lot of the young guys go a little lighter on it. We'll be so light that if I can remove the ball, that's not hard enough. So once again, if we're here, Kevin pinches it, I can't remove the ball with my stick. One of the other coaching points we talk about is if you see one more time with Kevin here, he'll pinch it. Once he's all the way on it, this part, the top of the head, never leaves the ground, as you'll see. It, there's no roll to it, there's no lift to it, it always remains in the ground. So the ball remains in the ground, the top of the head remains in the ground as well. That's how we know we properly secured the ball and made it as tight as possible.